I was about 58 years old and I looked in the mirror and I realized that I was really starting to get older. And I looked at Richard and I realized he was getting <laughs> older too. And um, we just started to kind of freak out about it. And we realized that if we didn't do something, if we didn't, if we didn't change our attitude about getting older, that we were going to be very unhappy. So we used paint and canvas and clay rather than a psychiatrist's couch to work through our fears. I wasn't looking for the positive. I, I, was, I was freaked out. And I, I was looking at the negative. It, it scared me so much that I wanted to look my fear in the face. And that's how I, I started doing these sculptures of old men. I found that painting older people was a very satisfying experience, you know. To get into the lines and the wrinkles really added personality to a face, added character to a face, and also just to look into the, to the eyes, to see a person's eyes, to see the expression. You can see a life that's lived. You can see just so much looking at a person's face. I mean, it, what's important is the light that's in somebody's eyes. The lines and wrinkles are a story of a person's years. It's the history in their face, you know, that gives them character. Here I was, you know, my body was just falling to the ground. Here, gravity was really taking it down, you know, every single part of me was dropping. And most women feel really weird about their bodies, feel really bad about their bodies. So I decided I had to deal with my body image. My body is my vehicle of transportation. It's the abode to my sense pleasures and it's the home of my mind and spirit. And I'll never feel bad about it again. I'm just happy to have a body, and happy to be alive. When we get older, we tend to compare our beauty with youthful beauty. And we're only young for about two seconds. And the beauty changes every minute that we're alive. And so we just have to begin to look at beauty for what it is in the present moment. And each, be and each age has its own beauty. It's like, uh, is, is summer more beautiful than winter or spring more beautiful than fall? It's different. And that's, that's the thing. When, when you look at an old face, um, if you look at it with judgment, you see an old person. And, but if you look at it, just look at it without judgment, you see the, the person, the history, the, uh, the character. And, and that, that it has its own beauty. But people don't do that. You know? Well, part of coming to terms with, with the aging body is to realize how precious life is. And that to focus on the negative, to focus on what you, what, what you might perceive as negative, to focus on the lines and wrinkles, just is a waste of time. Because it's just life taking its course, it's just nature taking its course. And so we began to focus more on the preciousness of life rather than the fact that our bodies were rotting away. And. You're beautiful. And so are you. <laughs> but it's true. I, I mean, I see her uh, with love. And, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And so. me too. <laughs> love is important. And, and the love is in all of our work. In, in my Lover series, it's, it's us. The, the, the old lovers are us. It's what people want in a relationship. They want an enduring love. And I think that's what those sculptures re represent. For us, these art projects were, were very important and we learned a lot from them. And they, they, they happened naturally. They just sort of came up. And then the writing of the book was a natural expression from the art. Um, and now I think what we'd like to do is, is pass this on, what we've learned. I think with, with the baby boomers uh, turning 60 and, and in their 50s, it's an important time. And, and I think it's important for them to know some of the things that we've learned. So part of, part of what we would like to do is to have people read this book, see the art, and, and get from it a bit of what we got. I think it's a gift. It's a gift that we've given. The whole of our life is, is our work of art. We may use paint or clay as a, a medium of expression, but our real art is the way we live from day to day, how we live with integrity and how much of ourselves we give to our work and 
to the people we love and to our world. I think that is the, the true art of aging. Thank you.